Laid back, Mickey here. Today, we are gonna go over the Teratrike lineup. And I have Mark, the CEO of Teratrike here, who is gonna tell us a little bit about yeah. this new electric trike. Why'd you guys even come up with Oof. this model versus you have like yeah. a whole lineup of models yeah. that can go electric? Yeah. Why the charge? So electric is huge, as you well know. Oh yeah. And if you haven't tried our electric, <laughs> you need to. We needed something that people could get into at a better price point that was yep. easy to understand that took the uh, average rider into account. You want me to go through a couple of these pieces? Yeah, yeah, I want to know about, yeah. the, about the charge. This is, so in the lineup, and I, I know that we're focused on the charge right now, but what models are there that step up to this? So there's the Maverick, the Rogue, it is the same platform that okay. this is built off of. Basically, it takes all those features and just adds electric to it in a solid package. Okay, So cool. a lot of people are starting to look at, how do I add electric, right? Yeah. We want to have a full package that's done and done right. Yeah. And by doing that, we can bring the price down rather than buying a full trike and then adding electric. Nice. So that's what accomplishes here. One of the big things with this is the Promovic system. They're out of Denmark and we really worked hard to find the right controller system. Nice. And I talked a little bit before about this. This is your boost throttle. Yeah. So it's not just a hit it and go. So at, at TerraTrike, we really want people to be active. Yeah. So you do have to spin the pedals yeah. for this to activate, but you don't have to be putting much in at all. Yeah, so just, could, could you just like put just a, like, as long as the pedal is circulating, Correct. circulating, what it moving, moving, rotating, rotating. There we go. <laughs> all Somebody those help me find the words, yes. please. Uh, That's what I, I'm here for, Mickey. All right. As long so as there's a rotating. speed sensor on the front that yep. uh, will sense those that pedal revolution. As long okay. as you're clicking off on those that slight uh, revolution, this will go. Okay. So, it, so let's say if you, you're. You, you know, you got bad knees and your knees a little sore and you're all, man, right. I want to get home, but my knees kind of hurt. And you, as long as you're going in, the, moving that in a circle, yep. then the boost is helping. Yes. So it's, it's not a throttle, but it's close to a right. throttle. Right, it's very close. It's yeah. the next best thing. So yeah. you come out of a turn that you had yeah. to slow down for, there's a hill, you just hit this boost and it gives you that extra oomph to make nice. it through. Yeah, so nice. that's what we really liked about this. You have a lot of control options and you've got a beautiful color display here. Nice. That color, will let yeah. you scroll through those I like, options. I like how the display looks on it. It's, it's slick and yep. it's actually held on there pretty well uh, because I, I put my trikes through a lot of abuse, yeah. throwing it in and out of my wife's car, or throwing it in, my, in and out of my truck. This one looks like a good mounting system on it. it so with any display, it's, it can't rattle around. You yeah. got to be able to see it and not think that your vision's going crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so we worked on that to make sure it was solid. Yeah. Um, one of the cool features with this system is you can do eco mode, which is not the level of assist, but that's what uh, it's called is eco mode or speed mode. Yeah. And there's five levels of assist. Yeah. In eco mode, those assist levels increase all the way up to five, where it's just cranking you down the road. Yeah. Is it like 20%, 30%, 40%? Yeah, there's a ratio. Yeah, I couldn't, so, I couldn't... so it's ramping up its power. Exactly. To it. exactly. Okay. Now, when you turn it into speed mode, each power level is at full tilt, wow. but it's a speed limit in a way. So if you only want to be going to 10 miles an hour, it'll get you up to 10 right now, yeah. and then it'll keep you there. Oh, cool. So you can set yeah. it for those different levels then. So that's pretty cool. So it sounds like you guys worked with the manufacturer for, for a while of yes. motor yep. in order to get this, because there's a lot of motors out there they work for a bike, they work for like anything you put it on, but it's not great for anything, for everything that you right, put it on. Right, so right. It, we it, wanted like, to make sure it was right for this product, right? right and that right, was the right. big push. So we found Promovic yeah. uh, out of Denmark. And the other piece of this is hub motors. There's such a huge range of hub motors out there. Yeah. And the feeling that you get from that hub motor, how intrusive it is into that riding experience, yeah. we wanted to really limit that. We yeah. wanted you to, you're gonna know you have an electric trike, yeah. but we didn't want it to be the main factor, right? So our goal as a manufacturer is we want the product to disappear so you can enjoy the experience. So that motor can't be noisy, it can't yeah. be you know, hitting you into yeah. the back of the seat unless yeah. you want it to. Yeah. So we really looked for that smooth entrance into that power. Yeah, band. I know that like 
the Bosch motors, I think it's a crazy calculation of like a- Milliseconds a, yeah, like it reacts. A, thou, a, a thousand calculations per second, something like that. Um, and so, and you're paying for that. You're, you know, it's, it, it's, a, yeah. it's a pretty penny for a nice Bosch motor, but you get what you pay for. But what you said is you want to bring something affordable to the marketplace right. that has as close to that feel as possible. Right. Yep. And that's what we say. So the charge, the way we look at it is, you know you're buying an electric trike, yeah. right? And you will feel it some. Um, where the Bosch is more of that cyclist, you're already out there riding. You want to not feel it at yeah. all. So the Bosch system disappears even more. It's just a higher end setup. Yeah, yeah. So. and it, uh, yeah, the Bosch, it's, it's pretty funny on the Bosch because you'll uh, we'll, we'll send people out for a test ride on the Bosch and they'll all, oh, I don't think, think the motor's on. And then I'm all, go ahead and turn it off. And then they're all, <laughs> and they're all, oh man, I want the motor back on. They, they realize, I'm yeah. sorry, like if you don't want to buy, spend a little bit more on the Bosch, don't ride it because yeah. you'll, you'll love it. it. You'll love it if you go, I want a motor and I want it on the trike, but I want it to be affordable. This Dude, is it. You hit it. This is it. You hit it right on. And it's a fun ride. We've got an amazing yeah. feedback on this. Track. I'm going to call this under 3,500 bucks because yeah, absolutely. Because I I think that um, I know there's a price that that you guys are, are are going to hit. And the cool thing is is that the the Maverick, the Rogue, and now the Charge Electric all have that wider seat. Yeah. And this is coming with the comfort mesh. Oh, with, the, with the comfort mesh. Right. Okay. Yep. So and that doesn't come on the Maverick right Correct. now. Correct. Wow. Okay. So, so a little bit of bam. This is the charge. Yep. Let's talk about the road. If you want to see more videos of Terra Trike, hit the subscribe button below. Mark, tell me about what's different about the Rogue and what's cool and new yeah. that you can do this year on it. So the Maverick uh, was our first kind of our, our newest uh, leisure trike. And what we did was come out with the Rogue with a smoother drivetrain system. Ooh. It comes with the Enviolo, which is an internally geared hub. Yep. And if you haven't ridden one, try it out. It's amazing. Uh, you just twist it to what feels good. There's no steps in the gearing. Um, you're still coming with the wider seat. And the best part about the Rogue is if you do decide that the Bosch is worth it, which yeah. it is, you pop that in here and you've got a seamless transition for a, an electric nice. system with the Enviolo on the back. It's just amazing. It almost feels like a yeah. throttle and how much more that Bosch responds and gives you. So on this model here, it has the MVLO hub. Yep. The, well, we call the infinite drive yep. between point A and point B. So this is just super smooth. It is, it's really smooth. So if you get anybody that is hesitant on gears, they're yeah. really new to biking in general, this is a, a just turn it and forget it kind of system. So if you're afraid of gears, check out the MVLO hub and then check out the Rogue. What's the next trike we're gonna check out? Let's check out the Rambler. All right, let's check out the Rambler. We are with the new Rambler. Now I remember when the Rambler was a 20 inch wheel, yeah. but now it's a 24. Yep, 24s you know, with big bends on it. This yeah. is the beach cruiser of trikes. Where would you take this trike? I think you would take it anywhere, but. Anywhere, it, yeah. It's a comfortable ride. So the balloon yeah. of your tires, uh, set the tire pressure to what you like. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people look for suspension. Suspension right, is yeah. great if you want to spend a lot of money yeah. and have that extra weight. Yep. Tires do a lot of work and not a lot of people play with tire pressures. Yeah. So if you play around with tire pressures, you'll find that this thing rides so smooth, takes wow. all the vibrations yeah. out of the trail. So nice. it's a nice setup. Uh, you've got your straight frame design, 24s all the way around, nine speed uh, on the back, drivetrain, huge range to it. Um, the reason we put 24s, and when we did this, we actually widened the frame slightly. So oh, it looks nice. the same, yeah. but it's slightly wider, so you have better uh, heel clearance and everything as you're turning the tires. Yeah, and we did a video, how do you fit how you fit a wider trike through a door. Yeah. And, you, and when you turn it, it actually will fit through a door right. easier. Exactly, yeah, yeah, it yeah. narrows up that track width. Yeah. yeah. So the beauty of this is it's easier to get in and out of because of the seat yeah. height. A little bit commanding, more commanding position if you're going to be, you know, near traffic, yep. all of that. What is about a 34 width, somewhere around there? Yeah, it's it's under 36 for sure. Yeah. So you and can so take, can you can you take it on a regular bike trail? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I knew that answer, but I was asking them anyway <laughs> for you sure. guys at home. One uh, of the biggest uh, things to this frame, I'll point out, this is our heavy duty frame. Mm. So 
with our lug up in the set here, yep. this can take up to 400 pounds with the steel seat on it. Yep. Uh, so this is a burly trike. Okay, so yeah, so you guys went with a, a stronger seat because aluminum is not as strong as just steel. Right, right. the fatigue over yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, over time. This is a, a cool model. I just love, everybody that sits in this loves it. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that, that I, I like to add on is the seat cushion. Yeah, absolutely. Because that seat cushion adds that, that extra little, ah, you know. This adds is, this adds to the cloud feel. Yeah, yeah, I just, <laughs> I love it. I, I mean, this is super comfy, but um, personally, I love the seat cushion. Yeah. These are so cool, so many people uh, that want to be a little higher, yep. you know, right, will Whether ride the Whether it's for visibility or yeah. ease of entry. Yeah. And, and now, exit. when just remember, on a higher trike, when you go around the corner, lean into the turn, uh, because if you lean to the outside, you'll tip to the outside. Whatever side you lean to, that's where gravity is going to go. So um, that's important. <laughs> right. so, and take the turns on a higher trike a little slower. It's not the spider that is low to the ground and meant to go racing around fast. Can you add a motor on this one? You sure can. Oh, you can put that Bosch, Bosch boost on. system on it. Yeah, so you, you, you can put the Bosch on pretty much everything. everything. Yep. And that's new on air, where we can say the word everything for Terratrike for 2023. Yeah. Okay, Mark, now we yeah. have the Terratrike all-terrain, which this is like your truly off road yep. trike yep what's different because this looks very similar to the rambler yep what's different about it yeah so we actually started off with a similar model called the all road we started putting 24s on and that's how then we eventually split to the yep. rambler and the all train yeah so the all train gives you a mountain drive train front and back so it's a two by system you have uh wider rims and wider tires knobs these are the smart sams yeah so a little more aggressive uh, we're going after more of that mountain bike-esque trike. Yeah. You can take anywhere, so don't be afraid to cut and cross grass, lawns, through ditches, <laughs> wherever you're going, it'll yeah. handle it. So wider drivetrain, um, you go to the aluminum narrower seat um, and upgraded brakes. A narrow seat allows you to be a little bit more maneuverable because you can crank the, the arms, the, the handlebars closer to your side. Yep. The smaller gear in front allows you to go over you know, maybe some rocks or something yep. like that if you want. I mean, this is way off the ground here. I remember going through it with my mountain bike, going through like rocks and streams right. and stuff like this. I've seen this, pictures of this. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you were doing any yep. streams. Yeah, the way to look at this is you can take it down some single tracks. Don't yeah. make any, yeah. you know, local a bike a groups mad. A wider single track. But yeah. <laughs> this is, look at this more like a Jeep crawling tool, yeah. right? You're not gonna go blasting down a mountain bike trail the same as you would on an yeah. upright bike, but this is a blast to go and see where you can go and yeah. just explore. So it's just that no another level of exploration out there you can yeah. go with. I dig it. I think it's a, a great trick. I love the color scheme. Uh, yeah. Looks like a Toyota yep. uh, 4 runner. The tires are great. I like that you did a center bead in so that you could take it you can on. You still hit that trail, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the rail trail, trail yes. yeah. And, and like this one here, lower pressure, so you can get that gravel and that Absolutely. dirt. Makes but yeah, you could raise it to a higher pressure. Right. And with that center bead, you can actually hit a regular bike trail. So it's kind of like most SUVs that have four-wheel drive. You don't use it all the time off-road, but when you do, it's nice to have. It's nice to have. And this one, uh, it looks super cool, but it, you could use it off-road or you just could take it on the regular bike trail. Yep. Uh, what's our next trike? Boy, I think we could go to the Gran Turismo. Let's check out the Gran Turismo. Mark, yeah. tell us about the Gran Turismo. Yeah. What's it for and what's new about it this year? Yeah, so we already talked about the All Train and that's where we jumped into our adventure lineup. Yep. The Gran Turismo is also in that lineup and the purpose of the Gran Turismo is it'll do everything for you. Nice. You wanna go comfort cruising, you wanna go touring on it, whatever you wanna do, the Gran Turismo is your platform for. It's a little bit lower, uh, than a typical straight frame like the Maverick or Rogue. So it's actually squished down, reinforced, kind of triangulated back end. Um, great platform for our low rider rack. And nice. then the bags yeah. that we talked about. New for next year is really just the color scheme. So we're trying to update and keep that fresh. So nice. you don't have just the same sea of colors and get something new and exciting. So we've really been playing with different uh, colors and decal uh, contrast in there. So. Nice, what color do you call this? Ooh, I believe this is the Arctic blue. Okay. So I hope that comes through, yeah, but we've yeah. got some really cool, we have uh, Moab orange, 
Uh, I believe we still have the black. Uh, so, and we'll yeah. have some special editions coming out too. Yeah, oh, some special ones. And, yeah. and when do the special edition ones usually come out? Uh, I believe those are slated for springtime. Okay, for springtime. Yeah. I know that like over the last few years, it's been hard to get certain models and stuff yeah. like this, but you guys have these in stock? Yes, and, we do. And yeah. then uh, Arctic Blue, I'm almost calling it a violet, but I guess you... It's, well, it's a, it's a, it depends on the light that you look at it in. Okay, yeah. a color changing tray. Wow, I think I saw... <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah, I think I saw a BMW come out or uh, something like that. I don't know if I'd go quite there yeah, yet, yeah, but, but... But that was like a, a $100,000 car. Yeah, exactly. This, this is much more affordable. This one's for the everyday rider to go it everywhere. Is. And yeah. it comes with 1.5s, but you can put yep. the wider tires on it. Yep, you, we have clearance for wider tires. You've got the two by drivetrain. Nice. Uh, it's just, we wanted something that anybody could get into if they're starting yep. and not outgrow it. Nice. And that's that's what this platform and is. And you can get the Bosch motor for this as well? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Sweet. But I know there's a GTS or a GT Sport, right? Yeah. Let's check it out. So now we are on the Terra Trike Gran Turismo Sport. I think that's what the S is for, right? I believe that's what we decided on. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with the Gran <laughs> Turismo Sport or Gran Turismo Super Awesome. Why did you create this trike yeah. uh, over the Gran Turismo? Tell, so tell me what's up. The Gran Turismo was a slam dunk for us, right? It hit oh. a lot of people in the right space for what they wanted to do for riding. The only question was, can we make it lighter? Mm. So we really took the basis of the GT, tweaked a little, a uh, couple items, a little bit of oversized tubing and made it into an aluminum. But the biggest thing, Mickey, that you're gonna notice is the seat. Yep. So we call this our sport touring seat. And this is something that eventually here you'll be able to upgrade on the other trikes. But you have an adjustable upper back. This isn't the headrest. There's a headrest that adds on to this. Okay, cool. But the beauty of this is it does narrow up a little bit. Yeah. So you can get a little more aggressive with your riding. If you want to lean into those turns, oh, yeah. it actually helps you can get your shoulder blade kind of hooked around that side ah, and dive into a turn. And then you have your zipper pocket on the top here. Okay. So you can put a pump, spare tube, tools in there as well yeah. without having extra baggage. Does that, does that actually mind. hit your back or? No, it if you overload it, it will. Okay. But you also have Velcro straps on the back for adjustment. So you can okay. fine tune how, you know, how tension it is. Okay, cool. And then you did something back a little bit different, yep. how it moves up and down with the rear stays. Right, so we wanted to really stiffen things up even more yep. beyond the GT. So. We don't have an official name in, in the shop. We call it the wishbone uh, yeah. seat stays. It kind of looks like a wishbone. Right. Yeah. So we came out to a center point, but with the same 15 millimeter uh, through actual style bolt that the seat bolts to the mainframe okay. is now on the back here as well. Yeah. So I, really I, just I, added I dig some that part. I really like that part. Yeah. Anything else about yeah. the GTS? So we also do hydraulic brakes as standard. Yeah. Uh, and that's been a hit too. So yeah, starting, nice. you're, you're starting to see hydraulic more in this realm. Yeah. And that's been a great uh, addition to this lineup for stopping power, uh, smooth feathering. Yeah. It's, it's a great setup. Uh, we also went with the Triker tires. So yeah. Schwalbe actually discontinued the Triker tires and we went to them and said, hey, we really want them on this. Oh, wow. So okay. they, they uh, did some special production runs for us. Well, what's different it. about the Triker tire? Uh, that smooth center and how it rolls, yeah. it's quick. Okay. It's super quick. So a faster tire. Yeah. Um, and and, and some lateral stiffness. So okay. they designed it so when you take that turn, you're not getting as much roll in that rubber. Okay. This trike is truly about weight on it, making it lighter, yep. more performance, more agile, yep. stopping quicker. Anything else uh, interesting that you guys Well, did? with the seat, the comfort. Um, comfort. Upgraded drivetrain. Uh, nice. Comfort-wise, we put on some ergon-style grips here. Uh, and, and with the drivetrain, we also tried to quiet it up a little bit more. Okay. So we still use a, a LDPE chain tube, but we designed our own custom idler uh, in the back here as well. Mm, nice. So the more things going on in that drivetrain, the more chance there's noise. So we yeah. tried to tighten that up quite a okay. bit. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I love it. And can you put a motor on this one? Huh. Let's see. Notice the theme here. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> so, and I keep on saying that mainly because so many people are asking, can you put a motor yeah. on it? This wasn't able to get a motor on it up right. until now. Right. Like, like, when can somebody start getting this with a motor the and put GTS a motor on? GTS boost kit is available now. So you can't, okay, that is breaking news, folks. 
you can get a motor on your GTS now. So whether you have one, right? Yep. Or if you go into a store or whatever your local Teratrike store is, you can ask for it with the motor. Yep. Super cool. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we got, I think we got oh, one more yeah. main trike that you yeah. guys, you developed a super fast trike, yes. right? Okay, I love it. Let's check out the spider. Okay, now we are gonna go to the Terra Trike Spider. It's your fast, lean, mean, yeah. super machine. Why'd you guys, I know you guys are the, the, the comfort, the leisure, the adventure company, yep. but all of a sudden you said, I want to make a fast trike. Let's make it who, fast. Who who came up with that? Who said I oh, want to do that? It was and then it was tell me about that. It was kicked around for a while and what we always noticed was to go fast you had to be uncomfortable. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And we yeah. said let's change that. Let's turn it on okay. its head. So the spider was born and we took oh, two to three years of development to get this right. Yeah. And in the end, it's just a beautiful machine. Mm. Start off with, you can already see the sport touring seat on here, yep. right? Yeah. Super nice. comfortable, narrow at the top, it's that sporty feel. Uh, and the beauty is you've got those same through actual style bolts in the top and bottom For the to rigidity. really stiffen it up. Um, this is a, come stock as a single fixed kind of seat position, mm -hmm. but there's a bracket that you can add to yeah. increase uh, that that recline oh, wow. and okay. sit up right a little bit more. So oh, cool. we wanted the spider more accessible to people. Is that without... bracket new? It is. Okay. Yeah. I don't okay. know how long it's been out. You'd have to talk to the okay the sales there's, team there. Hey, but... there's another there's <laughs> another thing I didn't know. Yeah. And you would think that laid back Mickey would know most everything. You just got so much going on, I Mickey. Know, you guys are really cranking it up. <laughs> yeah. So so go go ahead. Sorry yeah. No, that's you. great. <laughs> so we have that adjustability, so you can be comfortable and fast. We bumped up the rear uh, wheel here to a 700C, still 20s in the front. Uh, the Spider here comes with the Schwalbe Kojax. Mm. Super nice, supple sidewall, but a fast tire and super comfortable. Uh, you can also see the vertical handlebars. So you're sitting down below uh, the wheels in this trike. Yep. It's harder to kind of reach up and get into this position for that clearance. So we've got a kind of a little more of an aero tuck position with these. Yep. Uh, hydraulic brakes again. You've got bar end shifters, highly adjustable though. So when we went to the vertical handlebar, you still have the same rotation adjustment, but now you have a side to side and in and out adjustment, again, to find that comfortable position for you. Nice. Um, you'll also see some reinforced framing here up front. So when you're really cranking hard on that raised bottom bracket, it's not getting that flex, but the beauty to the spider is that the center of the frame has a little bit of compliance. Oh, wow. So this is actually a great trike on any terrain, including gravel roads, if you were to upgrade and put some gravel tires on it. Wow. It's an amazing ride out there. We have upgraded Shimano components on this. It's just an awesome trike all the way around. I love this trike. It's, it's fast, I like that. We did a couple cool videos on this trike. Uh, check them out because I know there's an upgraded model on this one here. I haven't tried this with the wider tires. Ah, I, yeah. Okay, so we talked about earlier about the all-terrain. You could take it off-road and stuff. You could take it in gravel. But I, w I bet this would be fun oh. going down like a fire trail it's a with wider tires. I live out in the woods, yeah. gravel roads, and this is my go-to. With gravel tires on it, it's, yeah. it's a blast. So yeah. the beauty of this, again, it's super fast, but you don't have to buy it just to go fast. Okay. It's a low, fun, performance trike, yeah. and it'll do anything you want it to do. And then as you started mentioning there, we have the ATC. If yeah. you know you're all about the speed and performance, yeah. ATC will upgrade to the carbon boom, full carbon okay. seat, and higher end components yet. Yeah, so the ATC is the, the spider, but upgraded. It has all the lighter weight componentry, yep. right? It has a lighter weight carbon seat. Carbon and wheels. Carbon wheels. And so it's pretty much like if you go, yeah, I'd love that, but give me all the cool stuff. You know you right? want to go fast. Yeah. You so want you want to go super fast. I'm just telling you, I really like this seat. Yeah. Um, the carbon one doesn't fit me as well. Yeah, so, it's a little bit nichier. Yeah, yeah this one, it would be my daily ride. Yeah, and one of the things I'll point out real quick on the sport touring seat, same with the GTS, yeah. is your flag bracket bolts off to the side here nice. behind, and 
we have uh, these bottle cage bosses. So you actually put your bottle cage right here so it's easy to yeah. access rather than reaching up uh, for, yeah. for your bottle. Yeah, and it, and it can't, you know, when you buy a performance car or a performance trike, you want it to stay looking cool. Right, right? Exactly. And then you throw a water bottle out there and it <laughs> right. takes away from all this beautiful yes. design that yes. you guys did on yep. this. Great job. Thanks. And uh, Get out and ride it if you haven't. Yeah, you got to go to your local Terratrike no, dealer. You've got to ask me, Mickey. What did, I, what did I not ask you? About electric. Can you get electric on this? Not yet. Not but yet. But it's coming. But it's, it's coming. coming. When do you... 2023, mid? quarter one. Quarter towards, one. Towards the end of Q1, I believe. Okay. We will have it okay. available. And so that, that that could be an add-on. So they could yeah. like buy it now. Yep. And then add it on. Absolutely. That's awesome. Hey, if you like what you're seeing and you like this guy, he's pretty cool. You should subscribe now. <laughs>